you're on premises PBX and looking for a more reliable and feature rich solution, follow me, my friend, as I give you a step by step guide in this video on how to replace your old PBX with a VoIP business phone service. There are three things a business must map out before migrating. What features and functionality are required, what's the budget, and which provider is right for your company. You could also figure out what you're gonna do with the physical space your on-premises PBX used to take up, which will now be free. Puppies. <clears throat> to figure out what's needed, ask yourself these questions. How many lines and extensions do I need? What specific features or integrations does our business need? Once you have the answers to those questions, you'll be ready to figure out your budget for the puppies. You should probably also figure out your total estimated cost of migration, you know, because that's also important. And during that process, compare the ongoing costs of an on-premises PBX versus a VoIP service. Once you know what you need and your budget, you're ready to look at providers. Research and compare VoIP suppliers based on features, pricing, and reviews. Check out their service level agreements and uptime guarantees. Just for reference, most major providers aim to support 99.999% uptime. Also, confirm the provider's ability to port existing phone numbers but most importantly ask them, do you like puppies? This is my serious face. If they answer with anything other than we love puppies, you come to Nextiva. With Nextiva, we guarantee the puppies. Hey, Tony, tell the marketing team new slogan, we guarantee the puppies. It's like that one slogan, we got the meats, except ours also works for vegans. Now's the time to test out technical issues before migrating to make sure you'll get the most from your new system. Three things you need to do. First, take a look at your network. How's it doing? Can it support the added voice traffic? Make sure you have enough bandwidth for the clearest uninterrupted calls. Implement quality of service settings, also known as QoS, to make sure your calls are getting first priority over other internet activity. Hey, interrupting myself here to let you know we've got another video that's just about quality of service and how it relates to your calls. Find that link in our description. All right, and now let's see how long it takes me to talk about puppies again. Second, puppies. I'm, I mean security measures. Those are, those are two very different. Although guard puppies, <clears throat> check into the provider's security measures. Confirm they use encryption and secure data transmission. Also, do they comply with any regulations you might have in your industry, such as HIPAA? Last thing needed during technical preparations is integration testing. Test integrations with existing business tools and applications. You might find that it's a deal breaker if the new system won't play well with others. Businesses should address any compatibility issues before they migrate. Just a friendly reminder here, no matter which VoIP provider you choose, you'll still have more integration options than you would with an on-premises PBX. And now, friends, it's finally time to leave the on-premises PBX nest and fly into the cloud communications future. Migrate, friends, migrate away. Fly like our friend the eagle who, when needed, majestically migrates from an old nest to a new. Who? Hold up. Eagles eat puppies, huh? Migrate like monarch butterflies, friends, as your VoIP service provider works with you as you transition into cloud communications. In this step, your provider will help you with things like data backup, where you'll back up all PBX configurations, voicemails, and related data. They should also provide help with number porting. And once all of your numbers are transferred over to the new system, they'll help with testing the numbers too. Speaking of which, I'm supposed to help with testing one of those out now. Hi. I'm calling from your doctor's office, and I just wanted to let you know that your test results came back positive. Positive that your phone works! I'm really good at my job. And if your providers are good at their jobs too, they'll also help you with system configuration. Together you'll set up extensions, voicemail inboxes, and call routing. At this point, you can also configure auto attendance and choose hold music. The last part of your migration will include employee training. This is where you'll introduce your employees to the new system's features and functionalities. And your provider should supply materials and guides for future reference. Okay, now that you're fully migrated, that big new space that's labeled PBX that used to stand for Private Branch Exchange can now stand for Puppy Box, because that's where the puppies be. Now, you only have to worry about doing a few things to ensure your new system is providing everything you need by doing these four things. Testing. Test all your features and make test calls to check clarity and reliability. Monitor and optimize. Monitor call quality and system performance. Adjust settings as needed for optimal performance. Collect feedback. Run test calls and gather feedback from employees on the new system. Are there any difficulties they're experiencing firsthand? Support. Ensure that employees know how to access help for any issues, either with the provider or through their own online user portals. And if you go with Nextiva, tell them to expect amazing service. And puppies, because we guarantee those now.
And that's your step-by-step -step guide on how to replace your old PBX with a VoIP phone service. Want to learn more? Dive deeper via the blog link in our description. Have another business communications question? Ask in the comments. And as always, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next vlog powered by Amazing Service. Until next time. This is an emergency alert. Hazard detected in your area. Evacuate immediately to the nearest shelter. For help, call 911. Because you now have a working number!